why this is important is because <laughs> that nerdy part of my brain that doesn't allow me to not see everything as oh this could be an extended universe like that's I'm a product of comics TV shows movies soap operas that serialized storytelling that is never ending and so every project that I have either complete or working on being complete or whatever they're all existing in this same universe and so I'm So with me having finished the first book in this duet series, and it's like done, I formatted it. Now I'm probably gonna have to go back in. I'm still going to have to tweak a couple things. And when I say a couple, it's like at most, maybe two pages worth of information, like maybe change a word here, change a sentence there, but nothing extremely major. But with that being done, I'm now um, moving towards the second book. So the second book, I do have to go through the second draft. And from what I remember, because I haven't read it in a while, what I remember is there were some things maybe in the middle towards the end that I considered changing. I'm going to read back through it like with these fresh eyes and see if I still feel that same way. But I know there were some things that um, were kind of questionable to me. And I'm hoping that with this time away that they're either very clear that, oh, this needs to be changed, or it's like, oh, this is really good. I bring this up because it is important to be organized. I have that first book was done, was in one document, done, formatted and everything. With this second one, it actually is split up into two different documents. And that is not so much of a headache because I'm going to put it into vellum and like work on it there. But it is a little frustrating because every version I've saved, like when I got finished with a chapter, I was saving and I was emailing to myself and I got it there. But I'm noticing that all of the versions that I have start with chapter seven. So like one through six is completely missing. <laughs> And so again, the importance of being organized. Now I know where one through six is, that's not an issue at all. I'm getting that and I'm transferring everything over. And what I think I'm going to do, because with this second book, I was just typing away, it, spelling errors, grammar errors, be damned. I just want to get the words on the page and I did, but I'm going to have to really uh, work at this. And I'm hoping that just getting it into vellum and then editing for um, misspelled words and things like that. I can just go through and then once that's in a organized state, I can then just move into like going through another round of drafts. Cause again, I, I know how the book ends this duet series, like how the second book ends and how it ends the, the two books together and that was always going to be the case no matter what. But there's some things that happened that has me a little, just just a little interested in what past me had going on. Um, a very important part of this is that it is not a romance in a traditional romance way. It is a contemporary love story, I'll say, because we're following a character dealing with the fallout of a failed marriage. And ultimately, with our own sort of love triangle, we figure out who's who, but but that takes more of a backseat to her dealing with her own issues um, and things that have been brought to light since the separation from her husband. And so we do get the love, kissy, kissy, spicy, closed door, all that of it all. But a lot of this is simply about this woman dealing with what does my life look like not being attached to this person who was supposed to be my everything for the rest of my life. And so that's where we are. I'm going to get to transferring the document into vellum to have one space to work with and then 
just kind of go from there. But thankfully, even though it's split into two documents, I was organized enough and like emailing this, these documents to myself that it's going to be easy to just transfer over. With that first book, it took me a couple of days to format, but this one should not take that long. Hopefully, maybe an hour, but organization is key, y'all. So I am out looking for a rug. I um, need to really focus on getting my place organized. So I clean, which has never been an issue, but the actual organization, like there's not that I have little spaces that have a lot of stuff. And I have, um, I have this issue of like having things, putting them up, putting them away and still feeling like I don't have any space. Like I don't have a dresser at all. I really don't want one. Ha, <sighs> there's a lot of things that I want to do. And because I am moving with more intention, um, even in my writing, I'm trying to make for certain that I can do the same thing in other aspects of my life. So now that I've gotten like a lot of stuff down, I've gotten some writing down, I've got some um, formatting done, I've got some planning done. I'm going to give myself this time to just find something. Because <laughs> this is getting old, not having, um, not having a thing, not having a thing. <laughs> so I, um, there are these shoe modules or modules or containers that I want. But then I'm also like, if I get these and I stack them up to my ceiling, like how aggressively unattractive would that be? But then if I get a dresser, though I don't want one, I can move some space out of my closet and then store some stuff there. So I don't know, I just, I need to figure this stuff out. And again, I'm doing these smaller goals to help get me to my larger goal. But I do kind of want to participate in spring cleaning this year. Now, this is not like a, a thing thing, but I want to be able to like do these smaller things so that when I get to the May, April showers, bring May flowers of it all, I won't have a lot to do or it'll be second nature. But I don't know, this is a lot of rambling to say, I gotta go in here and find something to make me feel like I've accomplished more than just writing. So um, that's what I'll be doing. Jeez. Trying to get paid, you know it's all still part of the game. They run in five drills, I'm off for the chain, and I'm high still, looking like Scorpion. Get over here, miss some people trying to relate, ain't close to here. Think it ain't a sacred place, you done missing. Turpin relationships just ain't been worth it. Fool, if you think when I don't post, I ain't working. Never too close, I know no thing certain. I walk in purpose, float on surface, fly. So I am, of course, working on my second book, and within doing that, I am starting to transfer over my chapters like i said and i'm working through it but then i thought like this book series this duet series that i'm writing is not the first book series i've ever wrote i've been writing for years decades to be honest and what i normally do with my books when there's more than one is i'll just keep that same chapter numbering all the way throughout and i thought about it, i was like i don't know if people do that so for example the this duet series the first one goes from chapter one to chapter 48 for the second installment i'm going to pick right back up with chapter 49 and just go forward but i was wondering would that be too confusing which to me it wouldn't be because you it would be clear that this is a second installment these are not standalones this is continuing the story and also if you pick up a book and you're only on like the fifth page of the book and it says chapter 49 <laughs> I would be sure that it would you would think, and I'm sure I'll put something like book two of such and such, but I'm wondering if that's weird. Um, I've done it for every series I've ever written, and I looked through some books um, on my bookshelf, and I even sent put a um, video up on, on social media asking, and I'm still waiting for like responses, but I think I'm still going to go through with it. Now, at the time of this recording, I'm... Um, just gonna format it with 49 forward, but I'm, I wonder would that be too much? I don't know, y'all let me know. What are your thoughts? Do you think it should just, for the second book, start off with numbering at chapter one and going forward, or do you think I should continue with 49 on through? I done came in, y'all done spent about mm, $75. This woman said, doot, 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 let me get you I don't know how much percent she said, but that stuff came up to 33. I said, God dang. All right, well, I will be back 
to spend more of my money. I ain't need to spend. So I have to go to Target. But shoot, after that, the savings, I don't know. Either I try my luck at Target and get some more off, or I could just take my butt back home. Either way, I need to get food. I need to go to Target and get some pillows. I got my little charger. And, um... I don't know. I don't know. Let me go and wrap this up because this ain't got nothing to do with writing. Y'all have a great one. Um, if I go to Target, I'll film something. If not, I'm going to take my butt home and get back to formatting and all that. But whoo, the deals. Mm. <laughs> Person is some stuff you got to be birth with. Leading in my market, cursing. Leading my heart, soothing the soul that goes to hope they purchase. But I no longer need a piece of margin. Float on and let it eat me down the love. I know my best days to the slave to a dollar bill. I'm getting paid, so it ain't dropping out of tip. I'm more thankfully grateful, cause these days ain't a thing promised to say. You and I promise to get a whole truth when I find it. So this thought just hit me. Um, I have a lot of works in progress. I have a few in varying degrees of completed. And I have the books that I'm about to release sometime soon. TB. Hey, to be announced <laughs> but i there's an idea that i i've kind of been sitting on for quite some time two actually so one is actually done it was done years ago i would just have to go back and kind of comb through it again and see if it is up to the standard which i feel like it should be or if I, something needs to change the other one is one that's kind of sitting in the back of my mind and has been for quite some time and why this is important is because <laughs> that nerdy part of my brain that doesn't allow me to not see everything as oh this could be an extended universe like that's i'm a product of comics tv shows movies soap operas that serialized storytelling that is never ending and so every project that i have either complete or working on being complete or whatever, they're all existing in this same universe. And so I thought to myself, like, am I ever going to be able to just write a book, like a short story, a novel, a novelette, a novella, something that does not exist somewhere within the space and time of this universe that I have created, this Rain Coleman literary universe? And I don't, I don't think the answer is no. I do think there are some stories like the one, um, I don't know which video I would have mentioned it in, but the um, kind of cozy romance drama story about that happens during a snowstorm. Though that happens in the continuity of the story that I have, that's in the larger extended universe <laughs> that I have, that in and of itself it's something that can just be read on its own. You don't need to know all these other things. But at the same time, because I'm so heavy handed and steeped in the nerdy comic bookness of it all, it's like, but I have to put in something in that story that clues you into this existing in the middle of this other book that I was just like, oh my, I don't know. So I'm still working through this. I'm, I have several ideas and projects and not every single one ties in in the exact same way and so there is space to have a standalone that's just its own thing but i love love when books are interconnected through a person through a place through events something even if it's loosely like ah uh, air drum dicky elon harris were like some of my first introductions well that i can think of because i'm sure there was some stuff when i was younger younger but introductions to that on a novel um i don't know whatever i what i'm about to just keep going it's just something i thought about so i don't know you think about it too now I am um, looking at rugs. Why did I not know rugs cost so much? $120? I thought these rugs would be like $40. <laughs> so um, I'm 
I'm out here shopping. I'm um, in the uh, stationary aisle and randomly, this young kid, young kid, this young guy walks up to me. He's like, hey, what's your shirt? My shirt is Carefree Black Nerd. He's like, oh yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't wear that. I could wear the Carefree part. We're just laughing. He asked, oh, well, what are you doing? So, well, you know, I'm um, writing my book. And so I'm getting some supplies. I got a couple storylines. I want to color code them and stuff. He's like, well, what is your book about? Bro, this is the moment that I have not been waiting for, but I'm supposed to be prepared for. I couldn't think of a pitch to save my life. <laughs> I'm stumbling over my words. I'm like, yeah, it's um, some siblings and they're in school. So uh, if you have it, work on your pitch, y'all, because now I look silly as hell. <laughs> cool kid, though. That was just light outside. Damn. Your passion is 